Exercise is a pillar of good health. It's important for almost everyone, especially those navigating heart disease. In this video, we will explore why exercise is crucial for your heart and the different types of exercise. Why is exercise so important for heart health? It is one of the most effective ways to strengthen your heart and support full body health. Moving your body, getting your heart rate up, and building strength may help regulate weight, blood pressure, blood sugar, and cholesterol levels, decreasing your risk of heart disease, diabetes, and stroke. Cardio, strength training, and low-impact workouts like yoga and Pilates can all support heart health. First, let's talk about cardio. Increasing your heart rate during a cardio workout has many benefits. Aerobic exercise lowers your blood pressure, helps you maintain a healthy weight, and helps keep your blood sugar levels regulated. Getting your blood pumping also reduces inflammation in your body, reduces stress and anxiety levels, helps you sleep better, and even helps prevent some cancers. Examples of cardio include brisk walking, biking, running, and swimming. Studies consistently show that spending 150 minutes each week doing even moderate physical activity helps reduce your risk of developing heart disease. Then we have strength training, which is one of the best ways to increase lean muscle mass and get fit. There are two basic forms of strength training, body weight training and weightlifting. In body weight training, you use your own body weight as a source of resistance for your muscles, and this builds strength. Examples of body weight training include push-ups, pull-ups, squats, and crunches. Weightlifting is another method of creating resistance for your muscles to push against so that they can get stronger over time. Common types of weightlifting include barbells, dumbbells, kettlebells, and weight machines. Strength training improves your lean muscle mass and decreases fat in your body. Decreasing fat decreases your risk of inflammation, diabetes, and heart disease. Strong muscles improve your overall health and can help you live a longer life. Last, we have low-impact workouts like yoga and Pilates. These practices connect your mind, body, and breath. They've been shown to quiet down mental chatter and reduce stress, which may be linked to heart health. One study showed that 54% of people who practiced yoga for three months experienced a decrease in stress and anxiety. Yoga and Pilates also help improve flexibility, balance, and mobility, while reducing inflammation and pain. Plus, since you're working out with your own body weight, you're toning and strengthening your muscles. Is it possible to go overboard with exercise? Like with any activity, pushing your body too much too soon can lead to issues. Your licensed professional can recommend a personalized exercise plan often starting slow, then gradually increasing in intensity to support your body and prevent injuries. For example, if you're currently carrying a lot of extra weight and you haven't exercised much in recent years, you shouldn't expect to immediately run a marathon or bench press a heavy weight. At the same time, if your body weight is very low and you don't currently exercise much, you'll want to gradually ease into a new routine. Depending on your current goals, body type, and health condition, your movement program could look very different from your neighbors. Do what feels right for you and always consult your doctor before trying a new routine. 